another full-figured beauty. However, her proportions are slightly off. And as you can see, I've done multiple efforts because I haven't gotten it right yet. I've been dealing with a lot of chalk and my hands have been getting really dirty and I've had to wash them over and over and over again. So I was at the lumber store, the hardware store, and I bought these. Firm grip. I don't really need a firm grip. I just need just a grip. Now I am going to go for black charcoal. Before I was using gray because I knew it's going to make a lot of boo-boos, but now I'm using Hmm. Let's see. Just one or two. I think her shoulder would be slightly down. I give her this little indention right here because that's where usually our bra is. Leaves a permanent indention. Let's see. Let's see. So we're gonna come down here, a little tricep, not too much tricep. Elbow. And then bring it in this way. I love the imperfection of the hip. There's a little cellulite there. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. And her arm is like, she's like this. She's like, well, she's like, she's like this. I don't know if you can see. She's like, her legs are like, oh. I don't know if you can see, but her legs are like this. And her arm is back here, and she's like, oh. Okay. So here's her arm right there. Oh. Little rib cage up happening, and she's this way. I just love full figured women. And I know a lot of you do too. This goes right here. This goes right here. I think I got it. Hmm. This is the middle of her neck right here. I don't want to give her two big boobs because you know how uncomfortable it is to have such big boobs and carrying all that weight, especially with your bra just digging in and sometimes it just like pulls you forward. But then a lot of women pay for that and embrace it. As long as you embrace it, I'm all for it. This piece is truly a labor of love because I've done so many layers on top of layers on top of layers, redoing the figure over and over and over again until I got her just right. I just want to point out a few things to you. If you notice here on her face, we have this loop here. This loop represents the pink ribbon for cancer survivors and cancer awareness. We also have a second loop here where her breast used to be. And then 
our third loop here. So that's very special to me. And that sort of just happened as I was going and I realized, oh, this is what I was doing. And I want the scar to be perfect because they're never perfect. And then we have here, there's a chunk missing from her between her hip and her rib cage. This is very symbolic because she gives everything yet again. Yet again, yet again. Ah, my son. Stop. 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 Go. I'm doing this all for your YouTube channel. Also, I'm showering kimchi. Okay, you're going to take a shower with kimchi. That's a good boy. I think it's looking good. And because she is a slightly older woman, her nipple is not up here. It is down here. Because with age, our boobs are not that perky anymore. But that's okay. Because they tell a story. Her breasts tell a story. Her story does not end with breast cancer. It is just the beginning of another journey. I love the fact that the charcoal bleeds in to the canvas. It just adds, just adds another dimension. Okay. I'm going to let this sit for a while and remove myself so that the paint could dry before I do another. Sometimes I should just stop. I say I'm gonna stop and just walk away. back we back yeah yeah what you... are you doing what you're just unplugging my mic <sighs> i have told you many times beware newly minted teenagers live here What did you just say? What did you just say? I'm warning people. You know. Uh-huh. Hmm. Sometimes I get to a point when I'm doing a piece where I think to myself, Oh my gosh, why did I do this? And so this morning I came into my studio and I was looking at it and I saw this that I had created and I was like, oh no, what did I do? What I was trying to do was strengthen her core. And within the colors, there are waves and mountains and little pathways 
all the way up to her head. And what I want to do on these mountains, I want to add a flock of cranes, not just one flock, but a thousand if I can. Because in the Japanese culture, they believe that a thousand cranes is good fortune and that it will grant one wish. And for my warrior woman here, I want her to have that one wish. So let's get started. Let's just start off with a simple crane. And as I start making more and more, a thousand, please allow me to do a thousand. <laughs> please be with me as I do a thousand. They will get better, more unique and my skills will develop. Because if you do something over and over again, and practice over and over again, you get better at it, right? Okay. I am sharpening my charcoal pencil, which is my favorite. So let's see. Let's start with a simple one. Now, because I have to do a thousand, remember I can't just do very big ones. I'm going to just start off with a simple crane here. My thoughts are to do a flock of cranes here. They're all standing on their feet. They're larger and as they go up they will take flight and they'll become tinier and tinier as they reach up to the heavens. Okay, one down. <laughs> 999 more to go. And what I love about cranes, the symbol of cranes, includes grace, devotion, faithfulness, travel, open-mindedness, aspiration, but the most important is longevity, immortality, and transformation. And especially the black neck cranes, they symbolize longevity. They actually live longer than the um, other cranes. And the white plumage is a symbol of purity. Its red crown indicates that its call reaches up to the heavens. And this is what I wish and pray for, for our cancer warrior. At last, I finally figured out my angel wings dilemma. I wasn't sure where I was going to put my hand cut feathers for the angel wings. I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, left it alone for multiple weeks, and finally decided not to add wings here or to the side, but actually incorporate the wings within these beautiful birds and the perfect book that I found for that is this I love what it says on the dedication page it says for all those who share their prayers and stories herein thank you for all those who need words to pray and cannot find them take these and I'm going to cut out teeny, 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 teeny little feathers from all these prayers. I sprayed my mini teeny little feathers here so that they will preserve over time and not fade. Right, Ziggy?